Hey guys, welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda with our derpy favorite main character guy, Clone. <laughs> I'm confused, can you please slow down? It's not paranoia. It's not so paranoia. <laughs> God, he's just so red. Like, he's got red skin, red hair, red, 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 red makeup. I, I kind of wish we'd gone with the red eyes just so I could have said red eyes, but they're kind of black. Dead eyes, which is I love weird. his eyes. No, his <laughs> eyes of like constant surprise <laughs> slash arousal. What? He's always like, I've scanned all the sounds like a lot went down. Before. Lo and look how quick, look at his eyes moving. That's my favorite part because they're all black, so you notice all of them moving. Uh huh. And so, like, when he's talking, watch the next time it shows a scene that's not directly on his face. I that. Look at his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Sad puppy. <laughs> they keep me rolling. <laughs> Sorry. Still stuck in my head. Hello. <laughs> Name's Dick Ryder. <laughs> uh, I don't know oh, why he had to be Australian. He could have literally been anybody. Well, Dick Ryder sounds sounds pretty good. Ryder. It's in here. Omni Gil. All Gil. There Gil. You are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. Oh, I've been okay, giving them a hard time. I still can't get used to Kesha's voice. Yeah, she's got a strange voice. I think uh, in the main trilogy they uh, had a like the all the races had very similar voices um but now they're much more unique for better or for worse but cuz you'll notice if you listen like the krogans always have like gravelly voices the turians have like a metallic tinge to them yeah and the asaris are like space elves so they should there should be like a high and mighty kind of kind of thing but uh they kind of, I feel like they dropped it a little I definitely, I definitely hear what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think for me it was like, it's just seeing that gigantic reptile thing, and then it being like, "How you doing, Pathfinder?" And I'm like, uh, like the other. You meet another guy later on in the game, and his voice sounds like it works uh -huh. with the race, but she's that. I don't know. Yeah, it's not, and it's not because she's a woman either, or a female rather of the race, but uh, it, it's just right. like I don't know what it is about the voice. I didn't know sure he'd be concerned that we still have there is much apart did you have some other business no no stop talking <laughs> and that's pretty much I, was like, <laughs> I, I need to get this uh Me's a complete mission. mission off my thing yeah <laughs> yo scan he's like hey so there's like a guy who is being convicted of murder did you want it no i'm too busy <laughs> I really Someone else is like, hey, Pathfinder, like we have a side quest for you. Shut up, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> I really love his armor, though. I feel like his face is really bland because it's just white, but whatever. He's got cool, glowy armor. I mean, they look really cool, but also scary. They are very scary. I, I do love how expressive they can be with their mandibles. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Oh, that's Sometimes. true. That's true. Like if you flirt with uh, the Turian girl on your uh, uh, ship or whatever, what she doing? like her mandibles just like spread wide right. apart, and she doesn't it's say anything, fair. and then they close, and she's like, wrong? "Thanks." <laughs> 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 Hopefully, we'll get to see that. I don't know if she's a girl only because I'm playing a girl. Uh, she's not. She's not. For a crime he didn't commit. Oh, okay. Exile, Good enough. Huh? I checked. I <laughs> all those romance <laughs> options. <laughs> Did you just hear this lady's like, uh, my wife or my husband's? He's gonna be exiled and uh, executed. Ex execute or yeah. not exiled. And uh, writer's like, what was it for? I bet his hand didn't get caught in a cookie jar. And she's like, my fucking husband's gonna be <laughs> killed or exiled. Please. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I barely got his hand stuck in the cookie jar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my dad punished me when I did that once. So. Oh my god. That's why my hands are so weird yes, now. <laughs> he calls them on my stubby fingers. Pathfinder Rider. Here to see Nilk and Rensis. Ah, a murderer. Like, I don't, I don't know. I think there's something wrong with their faces because I don't think they should be that Nilkan, white, you know? Like, it looks like the textures haven't loaded in, but I don't know. They, uh, that's about how it was in my game. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I, maybe that's just the design, but I feel like it's, it's weird to me. But yeah, they're all rocky. Look at how rocky. I just want to like pick all those rocks off his skin. <laughs> that's that inner chimpanzee of us, or our shared ancestor rather. That's just like I don't know why, but I just like picking bugs off of you. And to us, it's like I don't know why, but I just want to pick this scab. Why do I want to pick this paint on right. the wall? It's like the same thing. There's more. That's a the random order. croc theory from me when for the day. The chief's <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's... We were close. He was so, a... was speaking of random Everyone's things that please you. <laughs> speaking um, of croc, I just bought a new croc pot yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what a load of croc. <laughs> what a load of croc. Go ahead. Um, You're a path oh yeah, I was listening to a like podcast about like uh, political issues, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and um, they had on like a conservative uh person or a like like they were talking about this like conservative group and um like the stuff they were doing and everything. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. I want. I wish they could speak to the leader of this conservative group. And then like, and now on the show we have the leader of said conservative group. And I was like, wow, <laughs> wow, that was awesome. And um, I was like, wow, this is really good like investigative journalism or whatever. And then um. He's like asks about the conservative group and like what it does because uh, they were like supporting like uh, the Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch. They're running ads for him, mm -hmm. and um, they don't know like who paid for it or whatever. And so he's like, "Why? Why are you running these ads?" And they were like, "Well, it's for the senators that are undecided in those states to you know have their constituents put pressure on them." Um, so they can vote to uh, put through this incredibly qualified man or whatever instead of. Uh, you know, pointless partisan gridlock or something like that. And I was like, oh, that's kind of biased. I, I wish interviewers would point that out in this day and age. And the interviewer was like, okay. He literally laughed. He laughed at her. And then he said, spin noted. And I was like, <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. This guy's like on the same page as me. I, I know. I was like really impressed. Of like, like he wasn't like being like hard with her. Like he just asked like hard questions, you know, right, and right. actually like wanted her to follow up with them. And it has nothing to do with what political party you belong to. But when you have one that when you have someone who's from a political party who's trying to um, push uh, uh, something that they want, which is fine, because that's something that people do, right? No matter what political party you belong to, you're going to be like, I believe in this thing, I want to push this thing. And uh, and then that person's like, we're really pushing for our point of view mm -hmm. so that we don't have pointless partisan gridlock. And it's like, uh, no, pretty sure you're just doing it because that's what you want. And that's okay. <laughs> just say that. Or they get money from it. Don't whatever. do the pointless partisan gridlock thing. Pointless partisan gridlock comes because you say that, and then your guys on the other side of the poli political spectrum say the same thing, and you both put your heads in the sand and say, I don't want to compromise. Right. I like my point of view. I'm going to keep advertising until my constituents put pressure on these senators. Right. And, yeah, so basically, like, the interview continued, and he's like, well, why are you doing this? And then they were like, oh, well, the Democrats always played hardball, so we want to play hardball back. You know, back a few years ago, they did this thing or whatever. And he was like, wow, wow, they did it first, so now <laughs> <laughs> he he touched me first. He touched me first, you know. And I was like, wow, I'm surprised he said that was a little, like, on the nose, you know, to say or whatever. But, wow. Uh and Democrats have said that about Republicans too. Right. That's just, that's, oh God, that's so politics. That goes back and forth. Everybody yeah. does that to each other. You okay? And Addison. That's really funny First though. Pathfinder they've seen in over <laughs> a year. All she can do is Which one was Addison? <laughs> <laughs> Which one was Addison again? All politicians look the same to me. Wow. <laughs> that's really on the nose for what we were talking about. Hey. Cora. Said their best is taking care of it. They're best. Still need to head back to the ark and check. Sounds good. <laughs> See how my Sounds sister's good. doing, JK. Yeah, so spoiler nice alert. Joke. She's dead. <laughs> <laughs> She's not. She's not. She's not dead. Mm -mm. Or is she? Find out next time. No, we're just too soon. No, she's dead. But seriously, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we're about to. I'm about to pour you a gigantic bowl of serious right now. 
Cereal. Serious cereal. The best kind of cereal. Sam. Hello, Sam, save Welcome me from this crumbling Wait, I thought joke. you were closing the episode. No, I'm not. Oh. Yeah, we still got a little bit. Still got a couple minutes. Okay. You're like, uh You're shaking that clock! Uh, I just wanted to get on my ship. Apologies. I'm... What was he? My trunk. I have emotions, Sam! Okay, clearly. <laughs> it could scare people. <laughs> I scare people. I can understand. Super people get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. It is a symbiotic relationship. Yes, please stop talking. <laughs> well, in fact, let me take control of your larynx, if you don't mind. I'll do all the talking for you. Okay. Will it hurt? Oh, Sam. Okay. <laughs> Sam, be gentle with me. <laughs> oh, Sam, you making my tummy go a uh, boom boom. It's one I <laughs> So, where do we go from here? Oh my <laughs> god. I'm like in an unintentionally making Arnold Schwarzenegger's accent. I'm butchering it, and then I'm making him sound like an idiot. <laughs> but he's but he's not. But it's okay. It's working. Wait. So can you change it? No. Oh, this is just your profile. It's not oh, okay. your um, background. You do have more skills, though, because you leveled up. Oh, you're right. Maybe that'll unlock a new profile. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Wool. What am I wa loving the most? I really like um, the pull Upping in this all one. offensive biotics damage. You think? See, it scales with each point you put into biotics, though, so that, that'll be more bang for our buck later. Okay, okay. Oh, backlash is great. Backlash is great. Let, yeah, let's get the recharge speed up on that. That yeah. sounds like a good... I think so, too. Defensive And then maybe thing. save that one skill point for... And you know what? You F your teammates. They got skills, but you don't need to invest in them. I don't even them. need them. Six skill points invested in biotics. So right now we've got one, two, three, four, five. So let's just get one more... So we get... Do offensive biotics, then. Offensive biotics. Do it. Because he done. does like to offend people. He does. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wool. Yes. There you go. There you go. We fixed nice. the problem. Nice. Ah, uh, yes. Feels good. Yes, it does. Feels, Feels so good. good. Where am I going? <laughs> <laughs> just, I just like, he's sprint, like, just I run imagine. Really fast. You're just like doing your job on the ship and you just see someone oh, 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 just sprint past you. Looks like someone's late for work. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Ready to see what Dan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder and this is the part where they. No, I hear you're something special. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, the way things are going, but hey, you know, it's something real here. special. Oh, you're something very special. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, please, please stop. No. Can I just talk to At Sam? She just ends up falling in love with stop. Sam. Oh. Because <laughs> Sam takes control of your larynx. Oh. <laughs> so you just like, has your face, but then when he, every time your character opens his mouth, it's like, they call her your mind is just as beautiful as your body. Oh. <laughs> She's just like, Ew, yes. Look at his face. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Like he thinks he's saying one thing in his head, but <laughs> Sam's really just talking for him. He says like, "You are super pretty," <laughs> <laughs> and Sam's just like, "You glisten with the rays of a thousand suns." No, <laughs> it's blinding. <laughs> Seriously, get a visor or something, please. Don't look directly <laughs> at it. I'll I'll take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. You're, yeah, we're, oh, well, that's not good. You should get to the hospital. <laughs> so you're the one making everything happen. Boom, ba -da -boom, ba -dum. So this is Vetra. This is the character that uh, Steven talked about before as the, the person whose mandibles will move you're coming sideways. <laughs> yes. Otherwise, there's no she does have nice mandibles. It's true. Let's yeah. get out of here, girl. Okay, let's go see the rest you of could you, you could slay a whole bunch of cattle with those mandibles. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you could make a dozen goat sacrifices with those mandibles. I, I mean, I just I was thinking of like what a bird-like animal would feast on, 
right? And uh-huh. the peregrine falcons will like snack up, like or snack up, snatch up like small rodents and things. It's uh-huh. so, like what's a gigantic humanoid bird gonna eat? Probably like bur- like cattle, same thing that we eat. Wow! But like in the way that falcons and birds of prey eat it, which is just like snapping it off the ground. <laughs> I love how it's like, there's a problem. He's like, wasn't me. Wasn't me. Yeah, as we're playing through this again, I'm realizing that this is like, it like refle- reflects the workplace very much. Uh huh. All the time. There's yep. like there's scenes where he's like trying to get the crew together and he's like, guys, everyone, stop fighting. Why can't we just get along? And then everyone's yep. like, that's what a leader says. And he's like, fucking god damn it. <laughs> Respect me. For a sec, I thought I was gonna have to deal with Addison again. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> no one wants that. Dude, I think he just wants to like really I'll get with Addison. Like, <laughs> really, I hate her almost as much as my dad. <laughs> my, my dad. <laughs> Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna be really confused when I try to load my save files later, and it says Sarah and Sarah 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> be very careful. Yes, very careful. Yes. Labs, sensors, exploration. You, you're just like uh, you. I, I can see you going in the next the day and just field. being like Sarah 2.0 uh, must, be <laughs> <laughs> must be better. Must be better. So you try to load that one. You're like not better, <laughs> not better, not at all. <laughs> Actually, the combat might be better. That's true. And the conversations would be hilarious, but yeah, unfortunately, you're gonna have to save this file for when we record. Yes. We can't let our our loyal we viewer <laughs> miss out on any of the great action <laughs> that will come from Sarah 2.0, the failed clone, <laughs> trying to get his rocks off. <laughs> oh my god. Do you I like just my want, makeup? <laughs> I just want validation. <laughs> it's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. Mm. Look at that content face. <laughs> He's got like a huge square face, and then like I haven't even a little bit. It's a good thing my eyes are so sucking in, so I, I don't get blinded by the sun. <laughs> I haven't shown you the best part, me. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Me to go find crewmates. Okay, go talk to Cora. Oh, uh, really? Yes. Yes. That's the bio lab. We can grow plants there. for food, oh. oxygen, well, then, keep any specimen. Fish and mailed. Mm, I'll go respec. So I get that one point. Wait, can you do that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Zero. Zero. I wonder where she would Cora, where Cora is. Most of the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But you're I wonder if she's in the view. in here. Uh yes. Oh, okay. Confirming Nexus finalizing orders. Oh. Flight plan, command. Whatever. Plans. What you, you wanted to be all biotic buddies with her? <laughs> it's I mean we were trying to flirt with her, but you know what? We're too good Whatever. for her. We're too good for her. Twenty creds. Better be worth it. You have zero creds. Yeah. Send me yeah. pull. Yeah. Backlash. Okay, we did throw. throw. Of course. Got to get throw. Uh, okay, now we got two points left, so you can upgrade one more thing. Yeah. Uh, Let me upgrade pull again. What is pull going to... Oh. Because I guess them in melee range. Yeah, that's true. Good point. Good point. Yeah. I like it. I like, I like your style, kid. This will do it here. I'll probably uh, I'll probably edit out some of this stuff, the boring stuff, where we're like buying skills and stuff. Because who needs skills in life? Ah, just you know, right off the coattails of others. Okay, see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs>